Question for everyone out there with a live Christmas tree. Have you watered it today? Fire officials tell us it's a simple task that many people can forget, especially with the busy holidays. THV 11 Ian Russell has more on their reminder to keep those real trees fresh and safe. It's a conversation that we have each and every single year, especially if you have a live Christmas tree, how to keep them and you safe. And fire officials tell me it's not just a simple reminder, it's an important one. We definitely see a spike this time of year. As the leaves start to change and the air gets colder, Josh Clay with Sherwood Fire knows it's coming. Definitely because of the winter months, but uh, also because of the holiday factor. Many of us have already gotten our Christmas trees up and decorated, whether they're real or fake. Cutting your own tree is a holiday tradition, but Clay says all too often people become part of a statistic. We've all seen the videos of live trees catching a spark and quickly igniting. It is a scary fact just because of how quick it happens. Last year there was roughly 200 uh, Christmas tree fires just across the United States. Seems low, but Clay says that number is still too high for their liking. That's why keeping a few simple things in mind can be life-saving. The basic care of it will probably keep you from um, ever having a Christmas tree emergency. And when he says basic, he really means basic. Even something as easy as keeping your tree watered can help. It's a warning also shared by other departments. Once those needles start getting dry, dried out, it makes it so much easier to to catch fire. Chris Patton is the assistant fire marshal for North Little Rock. He says along with keeping your tree watered, checking your lights and distance to other things can be a huge help. Candles, you got to keep that stuff three feet away from a tree. Back in Sherwood, Clay knows this is a yearly conversation, but that doesn't mean any of these recommendations are any less important. If it starts browning too much, the best thing to do would just to be go ahead and take it outside so you don't have that hazard in your home. In Sherwood, Ian Russell, THV 11 News. Now, if you haven't gotten your tree yet, Patton says that may be a good thing. He says most live trees are only good for about four weeks, and there's five weeks between Thanksgiving and Christmas when many bought their trees.